Hey guys, Severe Weather MN here. Um, I'm sure many of you at some point have remembered a severe weather event from years past and you've kind of wanted to go back and take a look at it. And while there's a way to do that, um, the National Weather Service offers uh, level 2 radar data downloads going all the way back to 1995. So you could literally pick any day within the last 20, 25 years and replay, uh, you know, the radar images from that day. So um, I'm going to post a link in the description of this website. And uh, when you get there, there'll be all these different options. Uh, you you could select uh, site by list or the radar site nearest to your town. You could select it by uh, location or just search for an archived radar file. But the easiest way is to just go select by map. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, so just click on the dot nearest to your location, Duluth, Minnesota, in our case. And okay, now you're going to select the specific day that you're looking back on. So we're going to go. June 19th, 2016. So 6, 19, and 16. Now you're going to hit Create Graph. And so, in a second here, we'll see a graph come up. Anytime precipitation was detected in the radar zone, it would show up as a red bar in here. So there was something going on by every given time in the day. So uh, there were very little time periods without rain here. And that can be you can make it kind of hard to discern exactly where we are. Uh, this is your time scale here, by the way. We're going to have to sift through it manually to find that. So you could order the data, which would mean getting an email link to a FTP server, but that takes longer, so we're just going to go to direct download. And now you have this list of KMZ files available. So in order to find where you're looking for, it's good to just click download one and test it out. Um, by the way, in order to view these files, you're going to need a program like GR2 Analyst installed. Um, this program is pretty nice. We do have a tutorial video for it. Uh, so you can check that out. It's on our channel. Anyway, so I went ahead and I downloaded one of the files before. And I've already loaded it into GR2 Analyst. But to do that, here, let me just clear this out. There we go. To do that, all you need to do is just drag it in and it will load and display in just a couple of seconds here. Okay, here we are. So we can just uh, grab a storm, take a look at it, and uh, yeah, it's pretty handy. So um, There are a few alternatives to GR2 Analyst if it isn't available. I'm not too keen on what they are, but I just know they're out there, so it'd be nice if you guys could figure out few alternatives and post them in the comments. I'm sure people would love that. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's that. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And uh, be sure to like us on Facebook. Have a good night, guys.